In this video, we're going to take a look at what my favorite features are in the Messages app on the iPhone with iOS 17. Apple introduced a new app tray, which I really like, as well as some new stickers, which I've never used before, but maybe I might start using them with these new features that they've added. We're also going to take a look at how we can check in and the new advanced search we have within Messages on the iPhone. Let's take a look at these new features on the iPhone with iOS 17. Let's first take a look at the new app tray. I really like this design that they've added with the app tray. Let's go ahead and open up the Messages app. Now, if you're not familiar with the app tray, below our message here, we used to have a tray that went horizontal. So basically what it would do is it would go across the bottom here and then we'd see all of our different apps. And then we'd have to swipe back and forth to view all of the different apps. It was actually pretty cumbersome to use and select which app you wanted to use. Well, now with iOS 17, Apple made this vertical. When I go and tap on the plus here, which is where we can get our app tray, watch what happens. It goes vertical. And all I have to do is just tap on any one of these to open it up. Now, you may be thinking that, well, where are all my other apps? The app tray does have more apps than just these. Well, all you need to do is just swipe up and you can see all of the other apps, including any apps that you've purchased from the App Store. So what you're able to do is tap on the store here and purchase more apps for that app tray. So instead of it being down towards the bottom here, now we have it right across in a vertical line there. Much easier to select your different apps. So that's the new app tray. Now let's take a look at stickers. Stickers are something that I've really never used in the Messages app, but I may start using them a little bit more. Let's see why. When we open up our Messages here, what we're able to do when we go to our new app tray is we're able to add stickers. Now this is nothing new. When I tap on this, what I'm able to do if I have any stickers is drag them on top of any one of my messages there in the conversation. Well, what I'm able to do now is create stickers from a live photo as well as from a portrait photo. I can remove the background. So when I go over to new sticker here and I select a photo, let's go ahead and swipe up. What we're going to do is select a photo of our friend's Rottweiler here, a tap on it, and you're going to see that it is highlighting May here. This is the dog's name, May. It is going to remove the background when I tap on Add Sticker. So all I have to do is just tap on this, and now we can see we have my new sticker. So what I'd like to do is add this to a photo. You just take it and drag it up and add it to the photo. You can add it to any one of the messages here. You can see I can rotate it. And all I have to do is just drag and drop, and it places it on that photo or in that message. That's how stickers work. That's nothing new. You can just drag them where you want. But again, what is new is we can create a sticker from a portrait photo. We can even add effects to this. When I tap and hold on this and let go, you're going to see we have add effect. When I tap on that, what I'm able to do is add an outline to it, make a comic, puffy, or shiny. Let's go ahead and add an outline here. And now when I add this, Watch what happens. I'm just going to add it to the same photo there. You're going to see we have a white outline of May there. Also, we can create stickers from or stickies from live photos. How do we do that? Well, basically, all we have to do is just go and tap on the plus here. We're going to add another sticky here. And I go up to live photos here. What the iPhone will do is it'll look at all of your live photos, and if it can create a sticky out of it, what it'll do is it'll show up here. Now, I actually have more live photos, but this is the only one that it can create a sticky from. But I really like this one because it's Beth kicking while she is Dutch dancing. So let's go ahead and tap on it. And there she is kicking. And when I go and add a new sticker here, watch what happens. It's going to remove the background, and now it is just Beth kicking. So now, all I have to do to add this one, let's go and add this one to a different message here. We're going to swipe up here. We're going to go with this one here of my cable mess here, and I want to add a sticker. I keep calling them stickies. A sticker, sticky. We'll just go and add this sticker here, and I drag it up, and I place it on top, and now we can see that Beth is Dutch dancing there, and it's just an outline of her. 
So if you have a live photo, you may be able to create a sticker out of it. Now when it is a live photo, if I tap and hold on this and I go and add effect, if I make it an outline, it does remove the looping part of it. So it just turns it into a standard sticker. So I'm going to go with original here so then she is kicking up that wooden shoe. So that's how stickers work with the Messages app on the iPhone. And like I said, I may be using this a little bit more often because it's kind of fun putting a personal touch on there. Another new feature is check-in. Check-in is another app in that awesome vertical tray. With check-in, what we're able to do is send a check-in to someone. It can track where you're going when you arrive, or you can put it on a timer so you can check in after 20 minutes or whatever time you want. To do this, what we need to do is go back over to that awesome app tray as I mentioned earlier. So what I'm going to do is tap on the plus here. And then what we need to do is go to our second set of apps. So I swipe up and what you're going to see here, new in iOS 17, is check-in. Now I have not used it on this phone, so we're going to have a little bit of cards here or we're going to see some cards here explaining what this does. So basically what we can do is we can let our friend know when we arrive. So I'm going to tap on continue. The iPhone will keep up with any of my progress so we can track where I am at. So that person who I'm sending this to will be able to track where I'm at. I tap on continue. And I can also set if I'd like to share limited data or if I want to share full data. With full data, they're going to be able to track exactly where you are. So I'm just going to leave it at full here. And I'll show you how you can change that later. We're going to go to continue here and I'm going to send in a check-in. So this check-in here will notify Johnny when I arrive at a location. So what does that mean? What location? If you, you may have noticed that I didn't type in a location. Well, what I need to do here is tap on edit, and then I can set when I arrive, I can tap on a map here, and you're gonna see that it is set for full data. If I wanna change that, I can just tap on Message settings here, and I can change it to limited. I'm going to keep it at full. So that's how you can easily change it from limited to full. Let's go back over to my messages. Now, if you'd rather use a timer, you don't want to use when you arrive somewhere. Maybe what you want to do is just set up a timer, check in after 20 minutes. You can do that by going to after a timer. And you just go in here and set how long it's going to be. I'm just going to go with 20 minutes here. And we have our same check-in data. And all I have to do is just tap on done. And when I send this, that person who I sent this to is going to be able to track where I'm at. And then they will get a reminder. If I don't check in within 20 minutes, they're going to get a reminder saying, Dan hasn't checked in. And then what you can do is you can call or find out what's going on, track their status here. Now what I can do after 20 minutes is I can just say check in and everything's going to be fine. So then you know that I checked in. To edit this, you just go back over to details. It is on right now, but if you want to edit it, you can cancel this. And I'm going to cancel the check in and now it is no longer going to send any status updates. So check in is really pretty cool. You just go over to the plus here and you tap on check in and you just set. Do you want to have it when you arrive somewhere, or do you want to have it after a timer? And then you just set in what data you want to use or send to that other person, full or limited, and just tap on done in the upper right-hand corner. So that's how check-in works. And then the last feature that I'm going to show you is the new search. When we go and search our conversation, so when I go over to the top here, when I swipe down, we go over to the top here, this is our search. In the past, all we could do is just tap in a name here or any content or anything like that and it would just search that. But let's say I'm looking for a link that Beth sent me. What I'm able to do is type in Beth and you're gonna see here, messages with Beth. I call her Bethers. And then what I'm able to do is add more criteria here. So now what I'm able to do is go and say, oh, it was a link and now it's looking for all of the messages from Beth that are links. If I want to remove this, I just delete it. And now I can go and add photos. Maybe Beth sent me a photo. And there are all the photos from Beth. 
So we can easily filter down our searches now. In the past, we could only do that with a single search. So those are my favorite features with the Messages app. I really like the new app tray. I probably will be using this far more because it's just in a nice vertical line there. It makes it really easy to get at your different apps. The stickers is kind of fun. I've never used them before, but now that I know that I can add live photos to it, it might be kind of fun to add a personal touch to these stickers. And then check-in is something that can be vital when you're going somewhere and you can have someone follow your route. Or what they can do is check in after a specific period of time. And then we have a more refined search. So if you're looking for something, I know that there are times when I'm looking for something and I just can't find it. Well, now what I'm able to do is refine that in better search terms. So that, or those are my favorite new features in the Messages app with iOS 17.